Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. Whoa! That is a graveyard of pops that we have to put back on the shelf. What's up guys, Skid Rampage here. So this is not gonna be your typical video. So basically we're gonna be rearranging the collection uh, just a little bit. I This was like a great opportunity to do a video like this because um, everyone in my house were getting new carpet put in all the rooms. It's already done. Uh, the process is already done, but all of my pops are out there. I'm gonna show you guys a little clip after this little intro um, of all the pops out there. So quick thing, um, one of the shelves did break while we were moving everything out of my room. So normally all the pops were like over here, but it's very, very empty. As you guys can tell, it's a little bit more echoey and loud. Um, but yeah, we still have like the pin board up and the uh, green arrow picture, um, my TV still up, and then my desk is just super empty. There's like a tripod there. Uh, one thing we did do, which is cool for cable managing, is uh, so we're gonna get down and lay down here. This is kind of weird. You guys wanted vlogs, so this is kind of like a vlog, but basically um, we put in, if you guys can see that, I put in one of these. Well, I had my mom's boyfriend do it because I was too lazy, but uh, yeah, I put in one of these uh, to make it easier to cable manage, so that should be interesting. Wow, it sounds really weird under here, so I'm gonna get over here, but yes, basically we did that, so I gotta put everything, I need to clean those monitors, jeez, but we got the TV, the two monitors, um, my big mouse pad, it like covers almost my whole desk, is uh, soaking in the bathtub to clean, and um, yeah, I, I have my mouse and keyboard there, I just gotta put those back, and I actually need to get a new mouse. So, basically, um, we're gonna be rearranging the collection in this video, and um, <clears throat> we're gonna, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to order a new bookshelf on Amazon or something because I don't have any room to put those pops like on the floor or something because they normally go all over there. So that's my chair. It's like kind of really badly messed up. So my bed's on the floor because I decided to get rid of my Ikea bed frame that I had because it just, it's very creaky and crickety and I don't like it. I want to get a new one. So we're going to do that. So a lot of changes coming and uh, I do plan to put three bookshelves kind of like alongside this wall. So three bookshelves alongside this wall over here, hopefully, or I might put them alongside the pin board wall and move the pin board and put them alongside that wall and then film like that. Cause like, I don't really like it like kind of cornered off to where it's like, kind of like where I'm normally, like I would sit in the corner and record with all the pops behind me, but I want a straight wall so I can just, you know, I can change up where I record and show off different pops and things like that. But obviously you guys know in my old background, like where the pops were and things like that. So they're going to be changed around. We're going to move some stuff down and some stuff up and things like that. And you guys will probably get a chance to look at some of my pops. I'm going to do a full collection video soon, but this is a really long intro, but yeah, I have a lot to say, a lot of updates. So um, I'm going to be getting a new bed frame soon. So my bed's on the ground for now. And uh, yeah, we're going to put, we're putting my room back together basically because this is where I do all the filming and where all the magic happens so uh, kind of like a vlog type because you guys have been asking me to do vlogs so this is kind of like a vlog but kind of like a rearranging pop video thing but yeah I broke a shelf it, it's very very eventful I've been up since like 7 30 in the morning but we broke a shelf trying to move it last night and all my pops are just it, it's chaotic out there so you guys will see it in a second but yeah so um I'm gonna finish putting my room back together. I'll give you guys updates as I go on. Because a lot of people wanted to see my setup, 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 but there's really not much to it. There's just kind of like that stuff. I need a cable manage, but uh, yeah. Um, like I'm gonna roll the quick clip really clip. Uh, I'm gonna roll the clip really quick of um, all the pops in the living room and just how chaotic it is out there with all my stuff. And then also lastly, I gotta just, I'll just show you guys my closet really quick. So my closet's in there, it's just kind of closed and stuff and the floor is empty, I gotta put everything back. But new carpet, it's awesome. And I, I just gotta put everything back. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. And uh, I'll get like a second with updates. All right, see you guys there. All right guys, so all my collectibles and stuff are currently over there. So you see like most of the statues and stuff are up there and all those. We actually broke a shelf, so it's like half right here and that's, there's, there's stuff everywhere from us getting new carpet. So I gotta like put all this stuff back, but yeah, we're gonna be kind of rearranging the shelves in a, like the rest of the video, but I just wanted to show you guys now because it's kind of crazy over here. And that's where they pretty much all are for the most part. So yeah, that's a lot of work. All right, guys, so quick little update in here. Um, we're going to get to the pops later, obviously, but so I have the piece of wood and everything that I use to put my PC on, I have PS4, which I can't wait to upgrade to the PS5. Now, um, now I got to put all the wires and everything in a cable manage it down there. Actually, this gives me a great opportunity because I didn't have it cable managed before, so now I can do it now and just get it over with. But if anybody was wondering what my... PC look like then that that's pretty much it. it's just a black case yeah so I'm putting all this together now and then uh, I'm gonna move up to the top and then eventually I'm gonna get the shelves in over there just to give you guys a little update all right guys so I just want to give you a little bit of an update so 
I, I made some progress. It's been kind of crazy because like I started cleaning out a drawer right there and it just got, it, there's so much stuff in that drawer. So I was cleaning out all that and I came across some like old coins and stuff I had. So like, a, uh, I don't know if it's anything valuable. Like I'm looking at, uh, I don't know, my brother like has been in coins lately. So I call it, it's like a 1945 uh, Mark, not Mercury dime, uh, Liberty dime is what I was trying to say. So uh, we did make some progress down here actually. So it's kind of cable managed is the best. I'm, I'm not a pro, unfortunately. But look at my uh, wonderful um, Code Geass background there. It looks beautiful. So we have everything up and running pretty much. Um, everything's connected can't wait for the ps5 to come in but yeah everything's cable managed everything's put together um and then now i just gotta put together that side of the room i got one of the lights in here because i haven't got any lights for my ceiling fan yet um so yeah that's interesting so i, I don't know what i'm gonna do next i think i'm probably gonna get all this mess off the floor um bring in my shelves finish putting everything in my closet and then i'll update you guys when i get the shelves in and things like that all right, guys, so we are slowly filling the closet up, kind of. Um, so I have all the Whatnot Auction Pops that I have, which I should be going live on the Whatnot Auction at on the 31st, Halloween of October. We'll see. But, yeah, we have all kinds of cool pops in there uh, that's going to go. So all those are in here. So you guys finally saw some, like, you know, pops again for a while. Um, but, yeah, these ones are just all ones that are not going to be in my collection or Whatnot Auction or... Uh, uh, yeah, pretty much things like that. Some cool ones in there, and uh, I think I'm still going to add a few more by the time that comes around. But, uh, yeah, i got to go get the big boy shelves now and uh, finish finish up here. So I'll keep updating you guys, but I don't know. You guys wanted vlogs, so I'm just, I don't really know how to vlog, so I'm just doing my best here. All right, guys, so I got one of the first shelves in, and as you guys can see, all the pops are kind of like downwards and inwards because that's the only way all of them will fit because I have so many and this is like now half a shelf because it broke um, and the back is like popping off as well where all the nails were I don't know why just a super cheap $35 shelf that I got from Walmart um, now I want to go on Amazon and find three new ones that match but yeah that's kind of what we're looking like I'm gonna make it look more pretty for videos like soon obviously I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do that but uh, a little bit later on I got to get the rest of the shelves in but I did decide to use this wall pretty much rather than the window because I'm gonna put like the little desk that I used for videos like right here so I can put everything right there right next to my nightstand and bed and things like that so yeah I guess that's where all the pops are gonna go they're gonna change walls from this one to this one and uh, hopefully it looks good all right guys so this is where we're currently at we got some of the six inch pops over there we got a bunch of out-of-box pops and statues in that box a bunch of crap over there um, some comics that some subscribers sent over. Uh, and then we have the shelves that none of them match. Like, absolutely none of them match. This one was the closest, and then it broke in half. And we have everything. This one's, like, this one's way, like, it's not as deep as you guys can see. So I'm going to get three new shelves because none of these match, unfortunately. And you got pops everywhere. Like, literally mixed, kind of, like, mixed animes everywhere because we just had to throw everything everywhere to get them out of my room. So yeah, now I have to redo everything. Oh my god, this sucks. But yeah, that's everything. Everything's finally in here. I just gotta put it all back together. Look at all the stickers as well. We got all the stickers. So if you have any stickers, make sure to send them over because we got a plethora of different people. And now, guys, I take a break. I can eat some pizza since I've been up since 7.30 in the morning. I'm working on all this. I think this is a mukbang or mukbang now. <laughs> ASMR. That's so gross. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm trying to get it off my lip. Oh my god, it's so gross. Um, this is me in a nutshell. What you see off, <laughs> or technically on camera now. But yeah, we still got a lot to do, a lot to change around. Oh my god, this is gonna be a really long video. This is going to be a really long video, I just realized. <laughs> I'm going to have to, like, edit it down the best I can because, I don't know, I'm going to, like, probably, like, speed up the parts where I'm, like, deciding where pops go and then we're going to put them in and, you know, every now and then. But I'll show you guys the final product, of course. But, yeah, I'm going to eat, maybe watch a show while I do this and then finish up because I'm so tired and I don't want to do any more. I'm so, I just, I'm so done today. Like, I almost want to just finish it tomorrow, but I got to finish up the vlog slash rearrange pop video. So, I don't know. It was a good opportunity to try out a vlog on the channel. See if you guys like it. All right. I'm going to eat my pizza. See you guys in like, I don't even know. See you guys soon. All right, guys. So this was the best angle I could find to show you as much pops as possible with my camera, not my phone. 
So we have 215 pops to take off the shelf and rearrange in this video. Not exactly sure how long this is going to take, but but we're gonna we're gonna just start, and uh, I'm probably gonna speed it up along uh, some parts. But there's just so many. There's like 50 on this shelf alone. Like, uh, I don't. And the thing is, I need the shelves because I don't I don't have any space to be able to display them upright properly. So, all right. So we're just gonna we're just gonna take them down. So um, I'll show you guys some every now and then. So we got like Spider Man. We got Tsunade. Have not been shown off too much. Um, these are some older ones as well. We got like Cell, and then we got Super Saiyan Go Tanks. I don't know why they didn't name them Super Saiyan Three Go Tank. A lot of dust build up there. Uh, dusty, dusty pop. Um, all right. Let's see. Whew. Okay, this is going to take a while. Alright, we have some of the new NYCC pops as well. I'm, I'm a little tired, guys, so... But I'm, like, I'm at that point where I'm, like, tired, but I have, like, a bunch of energy. So, my hair is a little messed up. Let me just fix that. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, we got more. We got Sakura. Nobody really just throw her on the ground. Nobody cares about her. We got Gar right there. Felicity. John Cena. There's so many. Guys. So, I have 215 if I didn't say that already. Uh, we have a little Sonic Pez that I'll probably throw in a patron gift. Um, oh, these are cool ones that I got. Um, I unboxed them for patron only, but uh, we got the Rainbow Batman and SpongeBob. This is, I got these for my sister since uh, my sister's, you know, gay. So um, she loves the pride stuff and things like that. So she was super happy about these. She just hasn't came down from Michigan to come get them. Okay, so we cleared up one shelf so far. Not bad, not bad, one shelf. So many more to go. Oh my god. Okay, let's just take Domo down. I've had this for about three years now. Never will get rid of it. I got it on a trip with my mom as I throw it on the ground. <laughs> okay. Oh, we also have all our statues and stuff up here. Um, just a lot of random stuff. I get, did get new... Um, actually, I want to show you guys while I have them. I did get the new uh, Funko ones in. I want to do like a review on them. Um, but they did come like damaged from UPS. So that's very interesting. I don't know if they're like torn or broken inside, but there's a review coming on those soon as well. Um, we have Orochimaru. Like, guys, you know what's funny? When you do something like this, when you take all your pops off the shelf, I didn't even know I had Sarada Uchiha from Naruto. Didn't even know. So, <laughs> I thought, I, I really thought I got rid of her because I had two, and I really thought I got rid of that one, but I guess not. Um, we have Hit, which you don't see that one too often. That's kind of a cool one. Hit. I don't really care about the character too much. Like, he's a cool character, but it's not, like, one that I really would need a pop of. It's not really popular or, like, too expensive. OG, like, Super Saiyan Trunks from New York Comic Con. Kind of a cool one from 2016. That's a cool one. Oh, my God, there's so many. Jeez, Louise. Oh, we got the new Kakashi. That's a cool one. Kid Buu. Favorite villain. Favorite Dragon Ball Z villain is um, Kid Buu. All around. He is the best one. One of the strongest, or the strongest in Z, actually. Um... Nobody can really argue that because he's technically the last villain. And Super Saiyan 3 Goku couldn't even stop him, which was just crazy. Um, old school Spider-Man right here. Well, Spider-Man Homecoming, not really old school. I don't really need to clear off the top, I wouldn't think, because, like, I think I'll just keep statues and stuff up there. And maybe I'll keep more of the 6-inch pops up there. We'll see. Um, I do have an out-of-box Bakugo, which something cool for this is coming. The box is coming back, and obviously you guys can maybe guess what's going on that. You'll see it in, like, two days, I think. Um, so I'll just put him over here, actually. I do have some pops over here, too, on a desk. Some six-inch pops. Um, cat dog, that's kind of a cool one. My sister bought this for me. Um, well, won it at an arcade a long time ago. Well, a couple years ago. Um, oh god. Okay, so let's bring down some of the bigger pops. We have Female Titan, Naruto vs. Sasuke. Oh man, this is really stacking. And we did hit 15,000 subscribers, and we're already almost at 15,500. So thank you guys so much. That's freaking awesome. We're on our way to 16,000. Can't wait. So much dust. Attack on Titan. Can't wait for season four. Look, my hair. It's, it's, just fix that. There we go. Auto focus on that hair. Uh, it's a really messy day. I've been working all day, like uh, inside cleaning and everything. So it's been, it's been a day. Um, then we have my one piece pops. I am enjoying the show still. If you guys want to check out the second channel, you can. Luminous Zero. Subscribe. We're trying to get that channel to a thousand subscribers. We're at like a little bit over 400. So thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed so far. Um, we got Tony Tony Chopper, a little gray on the set. Not to me, not not to flex or anything. Just saying. <laughs> um, and then this is mostly Attack on Titan on this shelf, which I honestly like having its own dedicated shelf and showing it off because it's a really really cool set. It really is. So we've oh wait, I forgot all about the ones down there. Dang it. 
Let me angle down. I'm not used to having to like angle down the camera for this type of stuff. So, all right. So hopefully you guys can hear me. Hopefully, I know my room is a little bit more empty because I've removed certain things. So it might be a little more echoey. I'm not entirely sure. And I haven't figured out the lighting situation yet because I just put everything together. So nobody get mad about the lighting or comment on that. Just give me, give me like a day to ease into all this. All right. Um, we got Dobby. We got uh, Freddy Funko SC3PO, 525 piece of limited edition. And don't mean to flex, but I, I don't know. Um, that's it for the grails right there. We have Danny Phantom. I love this pop. Love you, Danny Phantom. Signature pop kiss. I haven't done that in a while. And then we have the one and only Skittle Rampage official LE1. Can't get rid of that one. I'm so tired from talking. So I, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this shelf because it's kind of like there's like a shelf here, a shelf here, a shelf here to where you can only put it this way. That's it. It's all you can put that top that way. And then there's like that one. I don't even know if I can sh stack this too high. I I can. I can depending on what protectors on it. That's actually okay. Interesting. Okay, interesting. I'll figure that out. I'll figure that out. Um, but yeah. I pretty much uh, just clear out this shelf, let another grail, anti-venom. Um, but yeah, I pretty much just finished off this first shelf, which was nice. And uh, yeah, we're going to move on to the next one, obviously. But I just want to show you guys the floor currently. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. Whoa! That is a graveyard of pops that we have to put back on the shelf. Oh my god. <laughs> this is going to suck. Oh, let's... Uh, Let's move it back up, but jeez. Okay, okay, all right. Oh, we forgot one. We forgot one, folks. Android 16 Metallic Walmart, or Walmart exclusive. Dude, I've got, this is literally all the pops from like one shelf and two rows. There's still so many. I didn't stack these right. I just kind of threw them on the ground. Let me just. I moved them with my foot, and that was such a really bad idea. I could have creased so many. It's all right. It's all right. Somebody call the pop police on me, because I'm not doing this right. I feel like we have enough room to be able to rearrange a shelf now. So this originally was Attack on Titan. And, man, I really wish, I wish I could fit two here to, like, put it up top rather than on the bottom, because this is normally where six-inch pops go. I, I guess I could just take out this shelf and move it down two pegs. I think it's two pegs. Let me see. I, I want to see if that's two pegs to be able to make it double, like to double up on pops. Let's see really quick. Obviously it's not flush flush. I need to make it flush. Hold on guys, one sec. All right, we'll move it down two pegs. And like I said, I'm gonna be getting new shelves anyway just because it's just like, this is stupid because none of these match at all. These shelves do not match. This is making me so mad. Oh, I missed the peg, that's why. Okay, let's put that in there. This is really bad. Why, why am I so bad at this? I guess I'm really tired today. Okay, so I think that is two now. Really? <laughs> just really? Oh, can you just give me a break, please? Go! No, oh my god. Okay, wait, can a six inch pop still fit here? Oh yeah, there's plenty of room. All right, we got moving down a one more peg. Or actually, honestly, for when I'm recording, so I'm gonna be sitting down here. So I, that's the problem, because like when I'm recording, I'm gonna be sitting down here. So you guys are gonna see most of the pops here. So I guess I mean, if you guys, I don't, I really don't care if you guys see six inch pops. I just, you know, I want to display. Um, I wanted to display Tokyo Ghoul right here. Is what I was trying to go for. Because it's not really shown too much in videos. So really, I should have probably done that. Oh my god, <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> okay, give me one second. I'm gonna fix this shelf again, and we're gonna put six inch pops up here. We're gonna put Tokyo Ghoul right here. That's what we're gonna go for. All right guys, so we're putting Tokyo Ghoul now um, over on this shelf, like I said, and we're gonna be putting some uh, six inch pops up here for now. I don't show off the Tokyo Ghoul too often, so I really wanna give it some limelight for a little bit at least, and then maybe I'll switch this to like Naruto or something since it's gonna be like directly in the middle. Uh, so basically, I do have a full Tokyo Ghoul set except for Ken Kaneki Hot Topic, which I still technically call it a full set because I have a Chrome version of that too, and I can easily get it from pop culture eventually if I wanted to. So um, I do have the 
One Punch Man set that I haven't finished entirely yet, so I've been kind of just putting it off to the side like this, but I guess this shelf is a little wider to where I can kind of like display two in the front, uh, which is kind of annoying, which I wish I wish there was like two more in Tokyo Ghoul. Um, so for now, I really want to display this set though, that's what sucks. Okay, so I do have actually Obscure Pop, so I can just throw like, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw Junji Ito, Suichi, um, I'm going to throw him in there, and I can put, what you can do is if you have a little bit of space on the side here, guys, if the thicker the protectors, they'll fill in the space for you, or if you have like one in a hard stack or things like that, so this would actually be perfect for two hard stack protectors, I think at least, I don't know, but yeah, so we have Junji Ito, and then I'll figure out something else to go here for the time being, we're going to leave it empty, and uh, we're going to see what else we can throw in there that I might have, maybe a one piece pop, or, oh no, 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 no. this is actually perfect, this is perfect, and it's going to look a little weird, but it's going to be Okay, so we have a Kuwabara, I think that's from, um, I think that's how you say his name, from Yu Yu Hakusho. Um, so a subscriber actually sent this to me, um, I haven't seen the show yet, but this is a really cool one. I did actually order the, um, the recent Hot Topic exclusive, I can't remember the name to, for the life of me, but yeah, so this is going to be kind of like Tokyo Ghoul and then two random collections that don't really, I don't really have other pops for. So uh, yeah, we, we are one shelf down. And we got a million to go. All right, guys, so what I've decided is I'm going to put Attack on Titan up on this empty shelf just because it has a majority of the pops. And I do have a majority of, like, Naruto and uh, My Hero Academia and Dragon Ball Z pops. So um, I do like displaying those in the video. So Attack on Titan is going to go up here uh, just for until it's finished, which I only need uh, the two Colossal Titans for now. Um, and then that also gives us the opportunity to be able to put the six-inch pops up here or up top here to kind of cover that basis. So... Uh, we're just gonna start kind of stacking them up there. So I do, like I said, I do have almost the full set and a full set video on these will be coming soon. Uh, so that's Aaron Yeager cleaning Levi. We have a Sasha. I recently got Annie, which I love her character. I love the female Titan. Um, so this one, I, I don't like this shelf because you have to, like kind of how you see here, is you can put five pops here, or no, four and four and then two on the side because it kind of just, that, that's just how wide the shelf is, unfortunately. So, uh, where are all the Attack on Titan? They're kind of mixed in, unfortunately. Okay, right. so we're just, actually, I don't really care about Erwin or her. Um, Krista I don't care about, Amir I don't care about. I want to put some of the main characters that I like more in the front. So that is all the 4-inch pops for that set. Um, I do have Beast Titan. I do have a few of the, um, like, bigger 6-inch pops right here. Um, I believe I only have three for this set, and then I need the two Colossal Titans, so. Um, what I think I'll do is, since I have three for now, I think I'm just gonna, I haven't dusted up here, unfortunately. So I'll just kind of wipe the dust where they're going. That is all Attack on Titan up there. I'm gonna be moving around that DBZ a little bit. Uh, maybe I'll put My Hero Academia up there, or Naruto right there, maybe? Or no, 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 I want to put Naruto up there. Maybe. I do have other six inch pops, so maybe I'll see. I'll see what I want to do exactly. So I do have the Naruto versus Sasuke moment. So that fits good there. Um, so that fits there, and then I think two, I think, I think, I think, yeah, yeah, okay. So two more, I don't, oh, I do actually, this is good. This is good. So what, we, what we'll do is, I'm not a big fan of this one. Like, it's a cool one. I'm not the, it's not my favorite six inch pop for Naruto. So we're going to just put all the Naruto up there just because it's like, it's just easier to put there. Um, and then we will put Mount Lady behind there. Even though she's My Hero Academia, I'm going to put her behind there just because I don't really have anywhere to put her for My Hero Academia for displaying purposes. Um, and then we do have the regular Kurama, which we're going to throw back here. And I want to display this one. Oh, I don't want to display Perumu over here, so I'm going to move him down here for a second. We're going to put Kurama mode Kurama right here, and Jiraiya on Toad right here. So, yeah. That's good. That's pretty good. Um, maybe we'll make this Naruto right here. I think that's. I think that'll be best. Or maybe we can move the Tokyo Ghoul down and put Naruto right here to make it make more sense and flush, if that makes sense. So, yeah, so maybe we'll do that. So let's, let's take some of these down, actually. Oh, Lord. Okay, um... All right, so we're going to just take a bunch down. Okay, um, so yeah, that looks good. So now we're going to pack this shelf with some Naruto. And I'm very particular about the ones I like in front. Like, I just, I don't know. I like all the main characters that I like in the front um, for the most part. So, like, for example, we got Madara here. Definitely want Sasuke. Well, actually, maybe not that Sasuke. Because there's a lot of Naruto up. 
I definitely want Kakashi in the front. Because I gotta have all the shotting gun users. Like, I gotta have them up front. Where's Naruto? There he is. Okay, um, I don't really care about this sexy jutsu one being in the front, so I'm gonna put him in the back. Uh, Rock Lee, I'll put up front just because he's a cool character and a different pop than, like, Naruto or Sasuke. Uh, we have the regular Kakashi. Itachi obviously has to go up front. As you can see, I'm catering to the Uchiha's. <laughs> okay. I want to throw Toby up front. I'm sure we're going to find another Naruto pop somewhere in this freaking pile down here. I'm sure it's going to happen. Um, so for now, we're going to throw Gara up front. We're going to throw Gara bone. Throw him right there. So we got Naruto. We got Naruto done. We got Attack on Titan done. We got Tokyo Ghoul, Yu Hakusho, Junji Ito, or Suichi or whatever, Junji Ito done. We need to do Dragon Ball Z, Sword Art Online. Oh my god, there's still so many. All right, I'll do that. I guess I'll do Spider-Man next. Um, oh god. Look, I still have so many Vegetas. Oh my god, like, look at this. There's still so many. Like, guys, you saw me move so many around. And that's all Vegeta right there. And then there's still more down there. And then there's still a ton. Oh my god. Okay. A little bit of an unorthodox video, but I figured it could be fun. Um, all right, so I guess we'll take all the Vegetas off the shelf. Okay. So, I'm looking for the Spider-Man. So, first up, we got Spider-Ham, which is a really cool one. Uh, I'm trying to get in more the camera for you guys. I don't know. I'm not exactly used to filming this far away, so. Uh, we also have Anti-Venom. I definitely want him up front. Spider-Ham is a cool one, but he's not like, oh, he has to be up front, if that, mean, if that makes sense to you guys. I uh, definitely want Lizard up front, just because he's a villain. And I like to show up the villains and the, um, the hero, heroes together sometimes. Uh, so Kingpin will definitely go over here as well. Love Kingpin. Electro has to go over here. Could we fill up a whole shelf with villains? There's no way. We don't have that many villains. Because I still need to get Rhino, Green Goblin, a few other villains. I do I do have a few more, though. So where are those? Uh, why didn't I categorize these? Okay, we got Venomized Ultron. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, I'm falling. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, Venomized Ultron, here. Look at that, guys. Full villain. Uh, that's actually kind of cool. Full villain shelf right there. That's awesome. Okay, so... Okay, right off the bat, what I'm going to do really quickly is... I don't know if you guys can see all the way down here, which... It's not really necessary, necessary to see, but... Basically, I'm going to just tell you guys. So, all the pops that I don't want to display is I'm just going to start throwing back here, which is Bulma, Android 18... Uh, Master Roshi, Vegeta, Galgon, Videl. I'm just gonna start throwing ones down there that I don't really care too much to display. Um, just because they're just not, you know, I don't personally, like, they're cool to have in the set, but they're not, like, display-worthy. But I might actually do that again, because I have one, two, three, four. Well, that doesn't stack too high, unfortunately. This does, though. But we still have this shelf over here, too. Because we also still have one Punch Man to do. <sighs> I think one Punch Man I'll probably put on the bottom, though, until I'm done with it. Uh, oh, there's the other Kakashi. Found him. Uh, because we have so many miscellaneous pops down there. Okay, Raditz. Maybe, what, what I want to do, I'm going to keep Raditz out, actually. Because I think I want to make, like, a Dragon Ball Z villain shelf um, shown out, too. Ah, uh, this is so... Uh, there's so many pops. Okay, and then I also still have Green Arrow. I like Arrow, as well. There's... no. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to start stacking the spider man down here. Like, I love the spider man but I just love how the villains look. I think they look so good. So we have the Pi Day Spider-Man. What else? What else are we looking for? I have, a, I have so many spider man pops, so I don't even know why they're... I can't even find them. Oh, Spider-Man 2099. What else are we looking for? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, there's the Spider-Man. We got the Homemade Suit Spider-Man. Uh, I guess this one's technically a villain, though, right? Superior Octopus? I guess, yeah, I guess... Eh, I mean, this is actually good. I'll put Venomized Ultron, because he's technically not part of that. He's not, technically not a Spider-Man villain. Oh, I forgot I put two Spider-Man behind here. So let me take these out really quick. One at a time, one at a time. But yeah, I'll put Venomized Ultron back there, and I'll put Electro and... Um, where did he just go? Oh, Superior Octopus right here. So that way, um, basically, it's kind of like 
a full villain shelf of like actual Spider-Man villains. I know I still have another suit. Where is um, Iron Spider? I know I have that one somewhere. Did I set it down over there? Oh, is it up here? Where's Iron Spider? Um. Okay, I lost Iron Spider. There's so many still on the floor though. All right, I gotta find Iron Spider, so we're gonna go on another search, and uh, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, so I couldn't find Iron Spider, unfortunately. I just have no idea where he went. I, he's gonna turn up eventually, but, so instead I put Spider-Gwen down below in the place, so, uh, Basically, for now, we're going to take a break from Spider-Man until I found the miscellaneous ones that I do have. And uh, I'm going to show you guys really quick, just down there. As you guys can see, I have all the Spider-Man down there. I have the villains down there. So it, it's it's coming together. So we basically completed one full shelf, finally. So a mix of anime, a mix of Marvel. Not too bad, not too bad. Actually, this one has been Dragon Ball Z, so why don't we do My Hero Academia? Because there's already My Hero Academia behind it. So i got to take off more of the shelf. This is crazy. Oh, my God. Okay, let's try to do... Speed it up a little bit. Six at a time. And then we'll stack those on top. So we do have um, Todoroki Box Warehouse Exclusive Metallic. Subscriber sent this one over and Endeavor. So we'll put those kind of, those two awesome ones right there. Perfect Cell, Majin Vegeta. So how we're going to do this, let's move these down here. Because there's so much in the chain. Jeez. Okay, so we have Overhaul, Kitagiri. So actually, we'll put these ones to the side like that. Yeah, yeah, that should be good. Okay, so we'll put those to the side. We'll put Toga right there. All for one on top of her. I gotta display Toga, because I do like her character. Um, Endeavor, we'll put down here. All Might down here. Tenya, because this is the only Tenya I have, so. Um, they, Deku and Onesie, not really a pop I care too much about. Probably gonna throw them in the auction. Uh, Tomoshigaki right there, next to All for One, for sure. Uh, Dobby we're going to throw up there. Ooh, do we have enough for villains? I don't think we do. I don't think we have enough for villains, guys. I, unless we do it like this. Unless we take those two, because, like, technically, eventually, I do have to put two here. Um, but for now, I guess we could do that. I thought I had more villains than this, though. Hmm... I guess what we could technically do is just throw out an Endeavor and like uh, All Might there. Like we can. Oops. <laughs> it happens, guys. It happens. Um, all f we'll we'll throw like an All Might Week in there, and then an Endeavor to kind of fill in the space. Oh, what I'm doing? What am I doing? I didn't put Mr. Compress. I forgot I put him over here. So we have Mr. Compress. Perfect. That looks beautiful. All right, guys. So I like moved one step and looked down, and I found Iron Spider. So I'm just gonna do a quick change for like Spider Ham down here. Actually, not Spider Ham. We're gonna change out homemade suit, and we're gonna put in um, we're gonna put in uh, Iron Spider here. You know what? When I get the other two, when I get the other One Punch Man pops that I need, I'm gonna fill this shelf up, and I'm gonna change it one more time. But I'll do that off camera, not in a video. Um, okay. So, like I said, we're going to do, well, actually, we do have three of the Sword Art Online. And we have Junji Ito here. I'm trying to think, do we have another obscure anime pop? Because we still have One Piece to do. How many One Piece pops do we have? Because maybe we could do a mix of um, One Punch Man and One Piece right here. That would look kind of cool. I'm trying to think. We have two, three, four. We can do like four and four and then sort out online. To kind of mix it up. I, I, I kind of like that. And then we'll put, um, that's what we'll do. And then we'll put the villains right here for MHA. Yeah, I kind of like that. I want to like spruce it up a little bit. So that still looks good. Still a cool little plan that I had going. So that looks good. Um, now what I wanted to do was we're going to do Genos. Let's bring some of the One Punch Man from over here. I don't know which ones I want to do, though. I do have Saitama. I don't have the Saitama that I want. I'd rather have him have be him his uh, hero suit. But we'll throw... We'll actually just throw normal Saitama on top of Genos. Oh, man, he has that bubbly protector. That kind of sucks. Okay, so we're going to put Luffy above Tony Tony Chopper. And we're going to do Robin. We're going to do Robin on Frankie. And what I'm actually going to do... 
is what I decided. And instead, since these are kind of like mixed so much, I'm going to put Kuwabara from um, Yu Yu Hakusho um, and Junji Ito Soichi from, well, Junji Ito, or the writer Junji Ito. Um, we're going to put those there. This is kind of going to be a miscellaneous shelf and something cool to kind of like look at. It's kind of an eyesore, but kind of cool also because it's like a mix of everything. And what we're going to do is, where's my sword on a line? Okay, so we have Kirito and Asuna, and these ones I don't really want to put on the side because they are one of my favorite sets. So we're going to display these. I, ha I do have the full set until the new ones come out, which is um, Kirito, Asuna, new variants, as well as um, Sinon, which I can't wait. She's my favorite female character in, uh, next to Asuna, of course. Um, in sort of online, and then um, also Leafa. So that's going to be a cool set to come out soon. So we're going to display these right here, and I like that. I like that idea. I wanted to do heroes. All my weekend has to be in the front. We're going to do Deku full cowling. Uh, Silver Age All Might. We'll definitely put up there for sure. Where is? Let's throw Tenya up there just because he's a cool character as well. I guess we'll, f yeah, we'll definitely throw a Todoroki up there. All right, let's throw a Todoroki up there. Um, mm, mm, mm. Do I want to do Ma uh, Mei or Kirishima? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to do Kirishima. Let's do Kirishima. And, well, actually, we'll take these down for a second. Oh, wait, no, I want to throw uh, Mirio Togata up there. I guess what we'll do is we'll put Dragon Ball Z on that shelf. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I think I'm going to move over the shelves, like, one, like a little bit over, just so I can put my lights on either side for when I record, because I think that'll be good. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how I want to do it for when I record. i got to see, like, how it works out and how it looks. Um, and I do still have my arrow set that i got to put somewhere. All right, guys, so now we're going to be moving on to Dragon Ball Z. I was able to bundle up a couple things off camera. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put our 6-inch pops on this shelf just because it's absolutely perfect for it. We'll space them out a bit just because we don't have four 6-inch pops, I think, to my knowledge, for this kind of set, unfortunately. So it's going to look a little weird. We can actually fit four, eh, four technically, here. You know what we'll do? Hold on one second. I'm going to take Mount Lady, and I know it's going to look weird over here, but I'm just going to display her over here anyway. I'm going to display her on the end piece, so she's not as noticeable. But I just kind of want something in there to fill the gap, because it looks really weird with uh, three, kind of, all together. So four together looks better. It looks, looks a lot less, like, empty. So that's cool. Okay, so that looks good. Now, I picked out all the villains that I want to display. Unfortunately, there's too many, I think, to display. Oh, that is beautiful. So it's like, look, it's green and purple. Green and, or green and pink. Green and pink. Looks good. All right, um, we also have Broly next up, which we're going to throw. Honestly, guys, I was moving around the shelves here, and I don't know what happened here. So I wanted to wait to do it on camera. So I'll just throw, I'll just throw Superior Octopus on the ground, apparently. And uh, if I had Scream, I would have thrown Scream here. That's crazy. I could have done that. Let's do... We're going to do Majin Buu Chocolate. I know Majin Buu is like not technically a, like a villain anymore, but I'm throwing him on the villain shelf for now. Um, Frieza obviously has to go on this shelf. Unfortunately, he is in a hard stack, so that might throw off the... If it throws off the um, like width of the shelf to be able to put more pops on it, then I'll take him off for now. Uh, Nappa and Raditz. Did I pull off enough? I don't know if I pull out, pulled out enough is what I'm trying to say. Uh, we do have Mecha Frieza over here. We can put three more. So we'll put Android 16 up there. Um, do I have any more villains out? Where's that Vegeta at? Oh, so we're going to do Vegeta over 9,000 because he was technically a villain at the time. So that's what we're going to do. And that kind of fills in. Oh, hmm. Hmm. So it actually does have some space over there. So what we'll do is we're going to throw Red Eyes Freezer right there. Just to kind of help fill in the gap. I hope this still fits. It does not. So I can't do Red Eyes Freezer. <laughs> dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. That sucks. Uh, we don't. You know what? We're going to take Frieza final form and we're going to throw him over there because we don't have like a, a another Frieza because of the other one. So what we're going to do, and my camera battery is actually dying, so I'm going to have to end this, charge the battery for a little bit, and then record 
in a second. So I might have to, I actually get to take a break because my camera battery's dying. So we're gonna try to get as much done before the camera battery dies. We're gonna throw them up and we have Goku and then Super Saiyan Goku, which is signed by the original voice actor. I'm kind of trying to speed up everything for you guys. Super Saiyan 3 Goku definitely has to go up there. Um, we're gonna do Majin Vegeta, which is signed by Chris Sabat up there too. Um, and then some other characters that I like, because we actually have more space down here. So we're gonna throw Golden Frieza down there. Um, and then also Beerus. We have Metallic Beerus right here. So we're gonna throw him on top of, um, of Golden Frieza right there. And let's do Jiren on top of Majin Vegeta, actually, because I feel like that's gonna kinda look cool. Actually, no, 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 I wanna keep the sand theme going, so we're gonna, like, kinda do that over here. And then we'll put Jiren down here. And I'm going to show you guys these up close. I'm just kind of telling you guys right now. We'll put Jiren and Hit right next to those on that side. And uh, it's really filling up the shelf. And we actually still have a bunch of pops on the ground. Let me show you guys an update really quick of everything. Because I still have to fill up a shelf over there as well. Like there. But that this, this is all pretty much filled for the most part. I, still, I can put some on top still. Which I might have to do for Arrow. But we'll see. Uh, but for now, guys, i got to charge my camera battery. Because it's like beeping at me and freaking out. So I'm going to take a break. Charge the camera battery for like 30 minutes. And then we're going to finish this up. Alright, guys. So here we are about an hour later. I let the camera battery charge just longer just in case. So what we're going to do is I have my Arrow Pops. Which I'll just show you guys really quick. I have my Arrow pop set right here. Which I'm just going to throw... All of them right up top here really quick and then we're gonna finish putting Dragon Ball Z I did want to make a couple changes on the shelves over there that I realized so um, I, I don't really know what kind of order we're gonna do for these because I have about 14 arrow pops there's 13 in the set but I do have a duplicate so I guess we'll put the two autograph ones on top of each other just just to keep you know keep the autographs together um, we do have Deathstroke that I kind of want to throw against him and uh, John Diggle there um, but I'm gonna display all the ones at least most of the characters. I don't really need another Oliver Queen. I have an, all, an Arrow Unmasked. Um, I do... Where's my other Speedy? Oh, there's the Speedy. Okay. Um, I have a Deathstroke. I'll keep Deathstroke Unmasked and I'll keep Felicity out. So I'll put him behind and I'll keep one... Or Yeah, him behind. I'll keep one Speedy out just so we have like the full set at least and then we got the little variants and stuff back there, which are okay. So yeah, that, honestly, that looks good. I'll move the camera up for you guys. So yeah, look at that. That's not too bad. So we got all air up there. Attack on Titan, One Punch Man, One Piece, Junji Ito, Kuobara from uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, uh, My Hero Academia, MHA, The Villains, Heroes. You got Tokyo Ghoul, Naruto, Naruto, Arrow, Marvel Villains, Marvel Spider-Man. We got some Dragon Ball Z over here. We still actually got to correct some things over here. So, um, I realized you guys probably couldn't see me on camera there for a second. But we're going to move the camera down here and then start working down here. So, what I want to do is... Oh, man, I forgot I had this miscellaneous. Uh, Freddy at Funko C-3PO. And then we're going to adjust the statues at the end um, right up there. I'm going to take out this Vegeta, the final Flash one, because we have the Majin up there, um, which I'm not too worried about. Um, Hit, I don't really care too much about, so I'm going to put him in the back. Jiren's cool, but if I have space for him, I will. So I realized I did have King Cold, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Final Form Frieza out from where we put him over here. Uh, because we do already have a um, Mecha Frieza, which I do like Mecha Frieza more than Final Form. Because um, Mecha Frieza is just a cool transformation. So King Cold I'm going to put up there so we have kind of like the combo there, which looks really good. And then we're just going to put Frieza in the back down here. Uh, what I wanted to do was I wanted to throw Super Saiyan 2 Gohan out in the front like this because I didn't want to put him behind. So we'll do that. And I did want to do a Super Saiyan God Goku to kind of put next to Frieza and uh, Beerus over here. And then I also wanted to display Super Saiyan Trunks, which was the NYCC one. So I definitely had to do that. Um, just put that one up there for sure. And I love Caulifla, so she definitely has to go up front. And, uh, oh yeah, I did want to do a, um, SSG SS, um, Vegeta at least. And then as well as a, um, um, I want to just display, no, 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 I want to do Whis. Whis, actually. I want to do Whis, and I'm going to put Whis next to, um, Beerus over here. And that's how that's going to be. So I'm going to clean up a few more. Um, and I'll probably finish this shelf off camera just because it's just going to be more Dragon Ball Z and, uh, it doesn't really need to be shown. So I'm just going to fill it up really quick. All right, guys. So we are done with rearranging the Funko Pop collection. So I decided not to do like a overview at the end just because I'm going to be doing a full collection video anyway. So, and you guys basically saw where everything was. So I'm going to be doing a full collection video soon enough for you guys. So 
just stay tuned for that. But I appreciate everybody watching. This was uh, this was fun to do. It was a lot of work, and I hated it, um, as well as had fun. So there's there's stuff everywhere, and I, I really hope you guys did enjoy this type of video. It probably won't happen for a very long time, um, unless I decide to move some things over. But yeah, this is this is kind of like a once in a lifetime kind of thing where like I get new carpet, and then I move 200 and like 20 pops. So. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like because this took forever to make. Please, please leave a like and subscribe and click that uh, notification bell if you're new. Anyways, I want to say a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. I appreciate the support so much. You guys are absolutely amazing for supporting the channel each and every month. So seriously, thank you guys so much. Huge shout out to you guys. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. You guys help support the channel and get all kinds of cool perks in the process. I just want to tell you guys to make sure to join the Facebook group and Discord. Great communities. They are buy, sell, and trade folks as well as you can make a ton of friends. And make sure to follow my social medias, Instagram and Twitter to stay up to date. All right. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye. I'm going to bed.